everybody, it's Allison. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing with some die cutting, which is one of my favorite things, and also two of my favorite happy colors. So if you watched my last video, I mentioned how my whole family had been getting sick last weekend and it finally got me, uh, but I am better now. We're all getting better. So uh, this was just me finishing up some cards that I had started previously, and we're going to jump in. This is the Florence plate from Simon Says Stamp, and I think I used this once before in a video. It may have been when I was using magical shimmer pow powders for the first time. And this is the Florence medallion. This is a complimentary product to the Florence plate, but it is a standalone die, but you can see how it complements it or matches it. So I have used the Florence plate to cut a sheet of light turquoise cardstock, and I'm gonna glue it onto this darker turquoise card base, and I only cut one layer. Now, if you cut two layers from this Florence plate, it would create more of a shadow effect but uh, I'm already gonna be adding enough to mention on top. So for the medallions, I will be stacking these. So I'm gonna stack, I cut them out of green cardstock and white cardstock, and uh, I'm just gonna glue the green ones on top of the white. Now you might see me use my craft pick a lot here. Uh, I like to use it to get any excess glue that oozes out, and uh, you know, my craft pick is one of my favorite tools. I don't think I could craft without it. By the way, in the upper left part of the screen, you'll see the little blue cutout pieces from when I cut the blue panel from the Florence plate, and I'm keeping those, and you'll see, you'll see why later in the video. Now you'll see I glued all the green medallions on, and in those columns I could get a full medallion, but in these other columns you would have medallions that um, you know, go off the edge. So I'm just deciding if I want to leave it as is or if I want to make things harder on myself. And you know me. <laughs> uh, and when I say harder on myself, I just mean I like finding different ways to use things. So here we go. I'm going to use the same color as the card panel itself to create these medallions. And I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these onto the rest of the design in the cover plate. And I'm only using one layer for these. Um, remember I used two layers for the green. And where they start overhanging the edges, I'm just using my, my new Spellbinders guillotine trimmer. Um, you could obviously use scissors as well. And here I've glued some onto the edge and you can see how those hang off the edge as well. So again, I'll just slice these off. And I'm still really enjoying this, this paper trimmer. All right, so there's these little cutouts on the bottom and top part of the columns where I had put the green medallion. So now I'm just taking some little half pieces and covering those little parts as well. And voila, here it is all finished. Now, the edges are not so pretty, and I knew that they wouldn't be. Um, remember, this medallion is a complementary die. It's not a matching die. So the fact that these all don't match up perfectly is not a flaw in the design. It's just, it's just what I chose to do. So what I'm going to do is create a frame that will cover the unfinished look of those edges. This is the blanket stitched rectangle set from Pinkfresh Studio and I've cut an A2 sized panel from that. And now I'm taking a die for my A2 layers set from Waffle Flower. Uh, I believe this is the third largest die from that set and it fits just inside that stitched outline. So I'm gonna line it up as straight as I can. And again, I'm, I'm creating a frame and you can create a frame with any rectangle die that you have. By the way, this A2 layer set from Waffle Flower is one of my most used sets. I use it all the time. You don't always see me using it, but it's kind of a workhorse in my craft room. 
So there's the frame. And now I can just glue it on. All right, so here we are. I've already finished the card off camera. Now the birthday wishes sentiment is this Simon Says Stamp die. Uh, this does have a shadow die, but I didn't want to cover too much of that beautiful background, so I just used the words. And these little pearl embellishments, these little ones fit right inside the center holes of those medallions. And, and then I stamped and heat embossed a little sentiment from my stash. And there we are. And I think it's so pretty. And of course, it's in my happy colors. So I, I just love it. All right, let's jump into the second card. This time I used that same green paper to cut the Florence plate. And then I glued that panel to a white card base. And now I have those little blue pieces, the, the ones that came from the first card. And now I could just do die cut inlay. And that's actually what I had originally planned to do. Um, this Florence plate is really perfect for die cut inlay technique. Uh, imagine doing all these little die cut inlays with different colors. That would be really beautiful. There's so many designs you could create. But I decided I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to use, I'm still going to use these pieces, but I'm going to create texture in a different way. So I'm just following the shape of the cutouts, but I'm going to let the white card base still show through. So I'm going to zoom in in a second here, and you can see what the design is going to look like. And at this point, you know, I'm still just kind of seeing if this is what I want to do or or how I want to go about this. But I think it's a really unique way to use this plate. And again, this is just using the Florence plate itself. I just cut it from blue and I'm using those blue cutout pieces to put on the green. Now gluing these pieces down was similar to doing die cut inlay. Uh, not quite as quick and easy, but but very similar. I used my embellishment wand. And so I'm, you'll see it's a lot of up close and personal work. So you'd see a lot of my head if I were to show you all of it. So I'm just going to fast forward. Uh, now I have finished gluing all of those little blue pieces on. And here is the sentiment that I had initially created for this card. This is the birthday mail posh script from Memory Box. Uh, I haven't used this in a while. And I love it. But then I added all of these embellishments. And look at this. I have white sparkle spots from Trinity Stamps. Those are the bigger ones. And then the little turquoise ones are glitter drops from Pink Fresh Studio. And so after I had added all of that kind of glitz and glam, I felt like this sentiment didn't fit right. Um, I don't know. So I reverted to one of my go-to word dies from Birch Press Design. I just love their word dies. And I found some turquoise mirror cardstock in my stash. And so that's what I ended up using. And this die really kind of, it nestled perfectly into the design without interfering with any of the embellishments that I added. And I also love the shape of this word die. I think it just has a really soft, sweet look to it. And, you know, the shine of the paper kind of plays in with the embellishments. Now, I chose not to add a sub-sentiment. Um, this can still easily be a birthday card. I'll just add a sentiment on the inside. I love hugs and hello cards because they really can be for any occasion. Uh, so, you know... Maybe it looks like I just slapped a word die onto this card, but really the star of the show here is the background and the gems and the design with those little blue pieces. They're, it's really pretty special in person. Hopefully it translates on screen as well. Um, by the way, Simon has other dies that are similar to this Florence plate where they have little complimentary dies that go with it. Uh, I think one of them is called Bubble Burst, and I don't have that yet. It's on my wish list, but that would be a really fun combination to play with, similar to how I played today. 
Uh, I'll link that below in case you're interested in looking at that one. Again, it's two products, just like the Florence plate and the Florence medallion. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if, again, if you've watched me before, you know that I like to try different things. And so this made me happy. And again, after being sick, it's nice to come back to the craft room. And, you know, if I had to finish something up, uh, I was happy to finish these cards because die cutting is my thing. And my happy colors made it even better. So thank you for visiting me today. I really appreciate you being here. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.